Hey guys, here's Louie. So today will be the day that I am going to install the complete floor on the bird. So the downfall of having it all complete as one is that it's really, really heavy, extremely heavy. But thanks God, my wife was here to help me out and I was able to do it. Now I am going to try to install the floor by myself here and my plans are having a jack under the tunnel here and a jack on the rear floor which is the trunk floor okay and i'm gonna have the space to i'm gonna drive in the transmission tunnel in that means the trunk should be out here that's long enough and little by little fit it in the car let's see how it goes well guys this bird definitely have come a long way even in the stage that she's right now believe me she have come and i have completed a milestone with this car this car and other people's eyes was far gone but nothing is too far gone and i don't say that it's because it's me because it's louis no i'm not talking about because of my skills or whatever let's put all that to the side more bigger than my skills and more important to me is willpower and whoever knows me on a personal level know that i have a lot of willpower and you could kick me as hard as you want okay and i'm just gonna keep coming back until it's time for me to turn you around and give you a nice kick in the behind and this is what i did to this car i gave it one hell of a kick and she's gonna go and see the road again because i did not give up and that's what i want everybody to understand please do not give up you have me a first generation garage you have jonathan okay you have brian menson at arrowhead garage jonathan vinyl village garage all right jk next garage my buddy jim and his wife kelly i mean they started without never touching a classic car and go check out they build jk next garage check that out okay those are people that they're not willing to give up they're willing to just keep on going until the build is over you have a lot of resources out there. You have Facebook too. I'm on Facebook. I'm willing to help anybody as long as you're willing. You have to be willing because I cannot build a car for you from the phone, okay? Or from the internet, whatever you want to call it. You have to be willing exactly how I was willing when I first started this some years back. I didn't know crap. I didn't even have the internet for help zero youtube okay and let me take you guys around and i want to definitely give a special thanks to mrs leon the owner of the lovebird my wife because without her there's no way in hell i could have gotten this floor in one time i learned a lot i did learn a lot this is my first time installing a new floor and trust me it was not easy I probably lost a couple of pounds trying to put this sucker in, but we got it in and I'm going to tell you what gave us problems. Okay. So I am enjoying my space also in the garage. Check that thing. That's what it used to look like. The complete floor of this car. Take a look at that. Huh? Is that a sight for sore eyes or what? He's coming back now please take this with a little grain of salt i did not perfectly gap the doors i did not perfectly put that quarter panel in i just threw things on the car because i want to see 
and get a visual in my head how she's going to look once I finish welding everything up. Okay? But let me tell you something. It's the 4th of July. All right? Happy birthday, America. And Louie has some firecrackers going in the garage because, boy, I worked my butt off. I was welding all day yesterday, the morning today into the mid-afternoon, and now look at the car. Here is the complete floor of the car, and boy, am I happy. Let me get on a stool for you guys to see the inside on a better view. All right. Check this out. Unbelievable what a, a lot of hard work could bring back to life. Now, like I said, I haven't fit everything perfectly, but I like how my nut cage on the bracket that goes into your subframe matches the lines that I did originally on my, on my beginning of the build. If you guys see it, seen it, look at that line. Boom. Right to that one. Okay. And the other one. It's, it's not bad at all. It's really extremely close also. Okay. I mean, I did not weld anything. I did not put no clamps on this side. And she really doesn't have a big gap. There the door needs to, I mean, the floor needs to be hammered a little bit out. Now, guys, I did have a lot of people asking me about this side of the car where you see a, a, a gap. I don't have no vice grips. I haven't zipped nothing down. But there is where I had to do my relief cut on the main floor, on this floor, all right, for the metal to get relaxed out. So a relief cut, and I will be welding that little, this little gap here. This, this is the gap that gets welded to the inner wheelhouse, but that's the gap I'm talking about. And I also had to do it to that side. So if you guys see that your floor Cannot go into the trunk floor, correct? Give it a give it a relief cut, and that's gonna allow you to bend the metal over, and then you just have to stitch it nice and shut. All right. Now check this out. The tail panel, I just threw it on there. But for just being thrown in there and hold on with some vice grips, check that out. I, I can't believe it. I mean, it looks so good. I am so happy. I measured everything. I got 17 and a half from here, 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 and and 20 and uh and an eighth from, from down here shooting to the bottom there. Look at my bubble level. Where is that? Bam. I'm really excited, guys. I mean, what a project. But I did it. I had to do it. This was um this was a no-brainer. I really had to do it because um, this convertible was out for being dead. Okay. And I mean, <laughs> she ain't no more. <laughs> she looks awesome. Okay. So what was hard, I, I put in, uh, you guys are going to see the pictures. Okay. Little by little how I got there. But I did not film it because I don't want to bore you guys me fighting the floor. I did fight the floor like hell. I put in the floor like this with the front being lifted as an incline. What gave me a big problem was I kept hitting the inner wheelhouses on both sides. But thanks God and believe it or not, Miss Leon also gave me um, some pointers and it helped. And it's better when you have help because two heads are better than none. I mean, I'm really proud of her. She helped me. She did not give up. And that shows me that she's really into her car. And I know she's going to enjoy this car, take care of a car like I do to my birds, and she will enjoy it one day. I just cannot wait to um, present it to her. So next step is uh, weld the floor to the inner rockers. Make sure everything is nice and level. Burn in my um, quarter panels. Before I do the quarter panels, I'm going to do the trunk drop-offs. And once I do the trunk drop offs, then um, and do my quarters, I'll be happy to put in my rear tail panel here. And guys, from this point on, I think I'm going to be moving real quick. 
let's see i have a goal that i haven't really shared with a whole lot of people i did share with jonathan at vinyl village garage because i'm really close to him he's like a brother i i, I don't i don't have a brother that's into cars i have a brother but he's not into cars he loves chess and i have to respect his hobby he respects mine but jonathan is my is my brother like i can't believe i had somebody that was into fibers as much as me i think we both were crazy but anyway guys the lovebird is seeing the light in the tunnel now she is getting there little by little i'm so happy and i'm putting this one in the books because she's done Thank you. Take care. Remember what I always say, keep your hands dirty and your project will move forward. Bye-bye.